Welcome, fellow audio sorcerers, wizards, and gurus to my channel. I'm Dan Spencer, and I am the audio sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you to affect your recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So in today's video, we are talking about the T-Rex Master Match plugin by IK Multimedia. So what this plugin does is it basically takes reference tracks that you load into it, and it copies the EQ spectrum of it, and also the level, and it applies it to your song. So it's basically a mastering plugin, and it's also supposed to be the last step in the chain. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use this plugin from start to finish. You're going to basically be an expert in it after you finish watching this. And I hope you guys like this plugin. And if you do, you guys can go to the link below and actually go buy it for yourselves. So before we get to this tutorial, I do remind you guys that I offer mixing and mastering services. If you go to audiosorcerer.com, you can check out my samples and my rates, and I give 20% off to new customers. All you got to do is sign up for my email list. And definitely sign up anyway, because I send out newsletters, I'll send out tips, I also sent out new products that are coming out so you guys can be aware of them. So it's worth your time signing up. So if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to have new videos coming out. So with that being said, let's get to this tutorial. All right, so here we are on Pro Tools. And today we are talking about the T-Rex Master Match plugin here. And that is by IK Multimedia. So you guys are probably asking yourself, well, what is this plugin and what does it do? So what this plugin does is you can load reference songs into it, basically songs that you think sound great and that were mixed and mastered well. And this plugin is going to analyze them and then compare it to your song and try to copy the you know, spectral EQ of your reference tracks and then also try to match the loudness of them. So the idea of this is it's going to basically master your song for you, but based off of the reference tracks that you load to it. Now, the cool thing about this plugin is that it is extremely easy to use. As you can see here in the GUI, there are very few buttons, and we're going to go over all of the buttons now and what they do, so by the time you're done with this tutorial, you know how to use this plugin like an expert. So the first thing you would want to do when using it is add a reference. And you can load up to three references. You just click on which one you want to add, and then you're going to hit the plus button, and that's going to launch a place to select a song on your computer. So we're not going to do that yet. We'll get to that. And if you add a song in here and you don't want to use it anymore, you just simply have to click on the one you want to delete and hit the X button, and that will delete it. And then to the left, you have a play button here. So this play button allows you to hear each of the references if you choose to. And then next to that, you have the learn references. So when you're ready to go, that's when you're gonna hit this button here. It's gonna flash, do its thing. And then it's gonna read in a EQ spectrum in here. And you're gonna see this in real time when we get to it. And then the next step is gonna be learn source. And this is pretty typical to uh, Isotopes Ozone where you're gonna have to actually play the song and it's gonna to listen to it. And then when that's done, you're gonna simply hit the match button and then these two faders over here, your spectral matching and your level matching, are going to move to where you know um, the EQ matches and then where the level matches. Now, the reason you have faders over here is because you can fine tune this. So the level matching is going to use RMS. That's what it uses. I do have a little bit of beef with that. I kind of wish that uh, IK Multimedia would have did it with the LUFS integrated, but. You know, I, I guess for CD purposes, it would probably be better doing the RMS. So maybe they'll make an update in the future. You never know. And then for the spectral matching here, this is basically similar to Isotope Ozone also, where you can adjust how much of the EQ match happens. You never want to put it at 100%, and you'll see why when we actually do it. And then above that, we have the active button here, and that basically is just a bypass for this module. And over here, you have presets. And again, there are actual presets in here, which I find interesting because this is a match you know, module. So I'm not sure why we would want to use presets for it, but hey, whatever. <laughs> okay, cool. So that is the T-Rex Master Match plugin here. And those are all the parameters. So now let's actually go through the steps here of mastering a song with it. So before we master the song, let me let you actually hear it first. Uh, this song is not complete. It's kind of a rough mix. 
And I'm going to do the last chorus. It doesn't have any vocals in it yet, but uh, it's a pretty cool song and it's a rock song. So you're going to hear that it is uh, pretty soft at the moment. I think we're peaking around negative five. But uh, anyway, yeah, here, let's give it a listen. Cool. So that is the basic gist of it there. All right. So our first step here to begin is to load in a reference track. So I have slot one selected. I'm going to hit the plus button here. And then I have this thing called test song. So let's put this in here. And that's what it looks like. A stick of butter. So this is a rock song. Um, not going to tell you who it is. Uh, we're not actually going to play it because you don't need to hear it. We're simply just going to hit the learn references button here. Okay, so it did its thing here, and this is what it read in. So this is the EQ spectrum of this particular song. So next we need to hit the Learn Source button and then play the song. So I'm going to press Learn Source, and I'm going to play the song. Cool. And to stop learning the source, you just simply hit the learn source button again and you're good to go. So this is what it read in for my song here. And uh, of course they are eh, a little bit different, actually kind of dramatically different. <laughs> again, this is a rough mix. So to complete this, we're simply gonna hit the match button. And this is what it chose for us here. This is actually the EQ adjustments it made. So I can actually go in here and add bands if I want. So I can double click and it adds a band. If I right click, I can delete the band. Then of course you have your frequency gain and cue controls for the bands you add in here. So this EQ is not just a match EQ. You have power to add stuff to it. You don't have to add in another EQ you know, to make adjustments to it. You also have a low filter limit here, which we can enable at 20 Hertz if we want. And then we also have a high filter one, which we can enable at 20 kilohertz. So that's up to you if you want to do that. I'm gonna leave it off here since uh, I'm just gonna take it as it is. And then you have a mode A and mode B, and that's gonna actually change how the EQ spectrum looks a little bit there. So it looks like mode B is a little more drastic and the mode A is a little more smooth. And Let's actually give the song a listen now and let's see how uh, how loud it got and uh, how it sounds uh, EQ wise. Here we go. Cool, so you guys got to hear me raise and lower the spectral matching here and see what it actually did. And as mentioned before, you never wanna go up to 100% or really anywhere near it. You need to look at this fader as a parallel fader. And for you guys to know how to use like things like parallel compression, it's something that you wanna blend in. So all I would do if mastering this here is I would basically raise this fader until it just felt right. And you know, this 27%, I think actually sounds pretty good. So I would probably leave it there for this song. And uh, yeah, again, it's just, you just blend it in. That's all you gotta do with that fader there. So lastly here, let me let you hear the before and after so you can hear the difference of what it did. So we'll start with it bypass. So let's give it a listen. cool so as you guys can hear it obviously got much louder and uh, it actually got a little bit brighter which is pretty typical for mastering so this is a cool cool little plug in here um, I've used ozone's match EQ several times in my life of mastering I can't deny that 
Um, I think you have to use it very subtly. I think that, like I said, you need to blend in the spectral matching fader to where it just sounds, you know, just right, basically. You have a good spectrum to work with because you're matching it to songs that, uh, you know, are well mastered by professional mastering engineers, top people in the field, so you can feel good about it. So that's how you want to use it. And is this the only thing you need to master your song? No. Um, it depends on, you know, how well the mixes of the song with genre and everything, but things you would want to add to this plugin to complement it would be things like, um, you know, spatial imaging, you know, making the sound wider, maybe some multiband compression, depending if you have any issues with certain, you know, frequency bands. Uh, you're likely going to potentially want to add some saturation. Um, I love added, adding saturation to my masters, whether it be tape or tube. I think it adds this nice little fullness, this little extra thing to the song that wasn't there before. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you might still need to do with mastering beyond this, but this is a good little finishing tool for it here. It's going to get your song loud, <laughs> as you can see. It gets very loud. Um, you know, my biggest beef is that we don't have a way to do a LUFS um, matching, you know. That would be something great. That's what Ozone uh, non Isotope has that uh, I would like to see from IK Multimedia for this plugin in the future. But for what it is now, you know, it's a great plugin. I like it a lot. I definitely give it a thumbs up. So I hope you guys know how to use this plugin like an expert now. It's pretty simple. There's a whole lot to it. Um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.